using neuroscience in the brain as an example or a starting point uh, for how we drive computation forward is actually a very interesting task. Uh, a good analogy is that, you know, for thousands of years we saw birds flying and we wanted to figure out how that works and we uncovered a few principles and then we're able to build an airplane. So airplanes are made of metal and rivets and they look somewhat similar to birds, but not exactly. So I think we're in the same sort of stage today with computation. We've been observing uh, what brains can do and uh, we're now at a point where we're uncovering some of those basic principles that we can apply to an engineered system. You know, if you look in the 40s and 30s, we were building these computers to automate tasks that humans, what we called computers, used to do. Actually, like, here is a set of equations that I need to solve or, or mathematical uh, arithmetic that needs to be completed. And so we wanted to build a machine to automate that. Today, our reasons for building a machine are actually vastly different. So now, data inference, finding structure in data is actually the most important problem. Finding underlying structure in data where we're actually looking at not the specific inputs, like all the pixels of a camera, but actually what the camera is showing, the scene, right? And so our brains actually remember that part, not the specific pixels. And so I think the machines we're building now uh, are able to uh, recapitulate some of those capabilities where we can actually find the underlying meaning of data. What does it mean to make data actionable? If we look at what the brain does, we have to actually make representations of the world that allow us to survive. I think the same thing is true for a company, right? We have to gather data, uh, do something with it that makes the business better or more efficient or drives new experiences for our customers. If you're in precision farming, uh, we can literally improve the yields of, of farming using AI techniques. Basically applying the things we already know in a very systematic fashion. And so uh, I think this is something that's gonna help us survive as a species. 20 years from today, I, I think you know, the world is gonna shift vastly. You know, things we never thought were possible, like the understanding of the, the underlying fabric of the universe, I think we'll start to be able to uncover these kinds of questions through AI. It becomes that lens that we can start processing larger and larger amounts of data. And uh, that's really been the missing, missing link. Uh, for the last you know, 50 years probably. Uh, gathering data has been there. We haven't had a good way to scale that up, to scale up that insight. And I think AI is that, is that link.